I'm going to show you how to make your own sourdough starter. You'll be ready to bake in less than a week. Hi, I'm Sune and I'm a food geek. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a basic sourdough starter that'll have you making delicious breads in no time. It's not difficult at all. All you need is some flour, some water, some time and some patience. So let's get started. The written recipe, the ingredients and the amounts are linked in the description. On the first day, put your glass container on your scale and tear. Add 100 grams of whole grain rye flour and 150 grams of water. Um, here you see me adding 150 grams of flour to 100 grams of water, which makes a very stiff mixture. Do you know how people say to their kids, do what I say, not what I do? Well, that applies here. Stir really well so that all the flour is hydrated. It's important for the flour to be hydrated uh, because the yeast won't be attracted to dry flour. Store the glass somewhere warm. I have a proofer which helps with many things baking, but it's a pretty expensive item. I have my proofer set to 28 degrees Celsius, uh, which is about 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Just leave the glass in there till the next day. On the second day, take 50 grams of the rye mixture from the first day and add to a clean glass. Add 100 grams of uh, bread flour and 100 grams of water and uh, stir really well. Put it back somewhere warm until the next day. Basically, you're just going to be repeating this step until you have an active sourdough starter. You'll know it's an active starter when it grows to about twice the size in three to four hours after a feeding. Third day. Hey, have a look at this. It looks fairly active, lots of bubbles on top. That's a good sign. We'll just follow the same feeding procedure as before. So uh, add uh, 50 grams of the starter to a clean glass, 100 grams of bread flour, and 100 grams of water, and uh, mix it really well. Put the lid on top and uh, put it back in that warm, cozy place you have for starter development. Fourth day. Oh, look at that. The starter obviously grew overnight. It looks like it grew to over double size. We'll feed it another day just to make sure that it's super active. So add 50 grams of starter to a clean glass, put 100 grams of bread flour on top, yada, yada, 100 grams of water, you got this. Mix it well and put it away until tomorrow. All right, lots of bubbles again. Have a look at that. This starter is super active. It's uh, obviously grown overnight, but has started to deflate a bit. You can see the marks to where it grew to. This starter is ready to be baked with. At this point, uh, I'd make a levang, which I'd uh, use at the peak time to put into a bread dough, but more on that in another video. Oh, as you can see, it's not very difficult to make a sourdough starter. The two most important things are consistency and heat. So make sure you uh, feed your sourdough around the same time every day and also make sure you put it somewhere warm. If you have a proofing box, that's the best thing you can do, but otherwise put it somewhere warm, maybe on top of the fridge or in the windowsill uh, in the sun or close to a heater. Just don't let it get too warm. You may say that B-roll of sourdough starter is a bit strange. I say otherwise. Thank you for watching. The recipes for those delicious breads and the b-roll will be on the channel soon. Let me know in the comments section what is your favorite kind of bread. Also if you like this video hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe and uh, click the bell icon so you won't miss any future video updates from me. See you next time.